Hi guys, Richard Tice is either stupid or pretending to be stupid because he believes his supporters are. Now if it's the case it's the latter, then it's very easy for him to provide simple solutions that don't require any thinking to complex problems. Here he attacked Rishi Sunak's Stop the Boats pledge on Reform UK friendly talk TV, where his pointless drivel was nodded in agreement to by the concrete farmer. He actually made two points, but neither of them made any sense. Have a listen. He hasn't got a plan. No. And uh, no one will stop the boats unless you literally pick them up out of the boats into the border force cutters and take them back to France. Yeah. That's what I've been advocating for about a year now. We can do it under existing international law. That's what should be done. The moment anybody who's leading this fine country has the courage to do that, yeah. within a fortnight, this whole vile, dangerous trade will stop because no one will pay uh, to go on one of those boats yeah. if they know that they will be picked up in the channel and they will be taken back yeah. from where they, where they departed. Yeah. At which point the whole thing's game over. We know that because it worked in Australia. Yes. They did it, they stopped the boats. Okay, so first of all he said, well, what we just simply do is pick people up and take them back to France. It's, it's recognized under international law. Um, it doesn't matter if it's recognized under international law. If you don't have an agreement with France, then how the hell are you supposed to bring people to France? Then second, the, well, you know, if, um, if we create this deterrent, and people think they're going to lose money, they're not going to come. But then how are they going to be informed of this? Once again, I, and I mentioned this before, people who are fleeing persecution or war or whatever are not listening to Talk TV and Richard Tice. <laughs> okay? they're not, they don't know who these people are. They don't know who Rishi Sunak is. Very few people know who he is. Um, Soela Braveman so, and the Bibi Stockholm. They don't know these things. So these things don't work as a deterrent if people don't know what they are or who they are. Now finally this, well we can do it like Australia. Now you can't do it like Australia because Australia is completely different. Um, Australia is not part of the European Convention, it hasn't signed up to the European Convention on Human Rights. So that's a problem. The UK is signed up and that's not going to change and I've mentioned before why, because of the Good Friday Agreement. So you're comparing apples and oranges, but of course, if, if he's mentioning this to people who are not going to check or people who are not going to think, then it's quite simple for him just to present these so-called solutions. When it comes to Australia as well, uh, Australia had agreements with, or still has agreements with neighboring countries to take people back. The UK doesn't have an agreement with France to take people back or whatever agreements it does have, it's related to stopping people from leaving in the first place, but that's not working out too well. Um, Australia also has an offshore processing center and a number of them on islands near Australia. The UK doesn't have that. So if you're to, the, the closest we could get to that is Rwanda, but that's not working at the moment. And it doesn't seem to be going to be a, a, a case of processing lots of people anyway. We're talking about a few hundred people when there's a backlog of hundreds of, like 170,000, I think is the latest one. And then when it comes to uh, the numbers, this is the, the core problem here. At its peak in 2013, Australia was seeing half the number of people crossing uh, the sea as the UK is seeing at the moment. So we're, talk we're comparing apples and oranges. The Australia has not signed up to the European Convention on Human Rights. Australia had and still has processing centres, although I think some of them have closed. Um, and the numbers are completely different. But Richard Tice's solution is, let's just copy Australia. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.